one. I am the toaster freak. Uh, we have here a 1A5 toaster. And what I'm doing here is showing you how the bimetal strip works in it. Now, I have this opened up so we can see with the element off because I had to fix the element anyway and I'll point out for you that this bit right here is the bimetallic strip which is right underneath the bread rack and it's anchored at this point here and as it heats up it bends and curves this way now if you can hear the ticking and I suppose you can listen as I push that back it slows down as it bends over it pulls on a little stud that you really can't hardly see trying to get around where you can this isn't the best camera to do this with that there's a little stud that comes out the back side of the timer which that bimetallic strip pulls on and what that does is as the toaster gets hot it makes it to where it will make a consistent piece of toast because each time you use the toaster it's heated from the time before and so the amount of time that it uses gets shorter or the time that it needs gets shorter it won't necessarily use less time now if this cleared out of the way you can see that stud right there right at that point that's the little stud that I was talking about now the timer on this will run even when it's up so I'm going to reset this and pop it up to get it out of the way and now you can hear the timer running I hope and I'll just reach in and manually pull that over now this is the same system used on every toaster since the 1B3 up to the 1B9 and the 1A5 they all use this kind of bimetallic strip in order to accelerate the toaster so that it will modify the cooking time to make better toast uh, while I've got you here I'll show you this element repair I'll hand this back to my assistant now this element was damaged and somebody had jammed a screwdriver, a knife, or a fork or something and ripped this wire out into the open. It's amazing they didn't get it into the wires, the guide wires, and short out the toaster, but they didn't. So what I did is I took the element out and I folded this corner in far enough to where I could get that nichrome wire hooked back behind it again. So here we have a effective repair. Uh, and while we're talking about repairs, I've been in contact with a toaster repairman who said that his biggest problem that he has is trying to fix things that other people tried to fix first and obviously didn't fix or he wouldn't still be trying to fix them. So uh, like the doctor's adage, you bear in mind, first do no harm. Uh, now I'm going to put this thing back together and we'll make a little bit of toast next time.